Hey, what's up guys? Joker here. And no, the title of this video is not clickbait. There is actually real-time ray tracing now being supported on AMD graphics cards via CryEngine 5.5, who have just released a new tech demo, which they call the Neon Noir tech demo, which has real-time ray tracing reflections in it, and it looks absolutely freaking amazing. They uploaded this video that you'll be seeing right now on your screen in 4K, which I'll link down below if you want to go ahead and check it out. Unfortunately, they don't have a download link or anything like that where you can actually download this and run it on your system, but I have reached out to my contact over at AMD, so... Fingers crossed, he said he's going to see what he, what he can do, and maybe we'll be able to get it and actually benchmark it on AMD and NVIDIA cards to see how this is actually performing with hardware that has something like RT cores versus something that doesn't. Although, this does, I'm not even sure this would take advantage of RT cores because we don't know exactly how it is achieving this. It could be a number of ways. It could possibly be using async compute as Vega GPUs are beast when it comes to compute performance. So that is definitely one possibility. We just need to get more details on this really, um, you know, to know more about it. But it's running in this video, actually. I didn't realize it until the end. They say it's running on a Vega 56 graphics card, and this was in 4K, and it looks like it's running pretty smooth. The video is 30 FPS, um, so we don't know the actual frame rate, but it looked like it was running at at least a smooth, 30 frames per second. It could have been more than that. Um, we just really don't know, unfortunately. Quoting Crytek on their developer blog, they had this to say. Neon Noir was developed on a bespoke version of CryEngine 5.5, and the experimental ray tracing feature based on CryEngine's total illumination used to create the demo is both API and hardware agnostic, enabling ray tracing to run on most mainstream contemporary AMD and NVIDIA GPUs. However, the future integration of this new CryEngine technology will be optimized to benefit from, from performance enhancements delivered by the latest generation of graphics cards and supported APIs like Vulkan and DirectX 12. So Crytek and the CryEngine version 5.5 are doing some pretty incredible things, things we've not seen before, having ray tracing supported on AMD cards, completely platform agnostic, which is just awesome to see and supported on different APIs, not just DirectX 12, but also on Vulkan. So this just has me really excited to see any future games that come out and support this and are running on the latest version of CryEngine. Hopefully we don't have to wait too long before we see something running on this engine because it looks absolutely amazing. These are like hands down like the best looking graphics I've ever seen in my life. And yes, of course, it is just a tech demo. It's not a game, not, not something you can actually play but I would still love the chance to be able to go ahead and benchmark this. If you guys see this over at Crytek, please get in touch with me and let me download this thing so I can actually run it and test it on the channel here and uh, showcase it for you guys. But I do look forward to your guys' thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. Let me know what you think about this real-time ray tracing demo on CryEngine 5.5. It's just, I just wanted to make this quick video on it because it's really exciting stuff to see and uh, just really, you know, kind of opens up the doors of possibilities as not being limited to having just NVIDIA cards with really expensive RT cores um, and Tensor cores and things like that for DLSS. We know DL something like DLSS is already possible using an open source, um, I can't remember the exact name of it, but it's an open source implementation from, from Microsoft, which AMD GPUs could actually utilize to do something like DLSS. So it doesn't look like you're going to necessarily need an NVIDIA card in the future to do things, something similar to DLSS and also real-time ray tracing. So this is good to see them doing something like this that is so optimized, even running on a Vega 56 graphics card, not even Vega 64 or Radeon 7, Vega 56, which is like now like a $400 graphics card. So just crazy and bravo to the guys over at Crytek. But I wanna see your guys' thoughts on this down in the comments below. Let me know what you think about it. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up on it down below. Subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you all tomorrow for another video.